Welcome to Leros Farm. Today we'll be talking about why are these catfishes dying. So I will play you the video of the catfishes that are dying, you know, so that we we'll discuss for people that have similar problems to understand exactly why their catfishes are dying. Then if you have any problem in your farm whatsoever, simply do a two to three minutes video of this problem. Send it to 081. 35348909. When I look at this problem, I will provide you with a very simple solution free of charge. Remember, Let Us Farm doesn't do any secret WhatsApp group or anything. I will never ask you to pay money to join any of my groups. Follow us on all social media platforms YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram with the handle Let Us Farm. I'll be right back for us to discuss this. Welcome back. Yeah, so you have watched the video clip and um, it's disheartening when I see issues like this you know what what actually makes me uncomfortable is that it sounds like people watch your videos listen to what you say but still don't understand and will not care to ask questions or people just intentionally want to do what they have in their mind then when there is problem they will now come back to the same thing that you say every time now this rubber tank that you just washed now is a 1000 liter capacity uh, white tank ordinarily i have said in many of my videos this tank the capacity wise is 50 fishes but some people have this idea that you know they can actually stock as many as they want like i said what you just saw has 3500 juveniles inside from what the person is saying, he says sometimes he records 50 deaths a day, 5 deaths a day. It's been going on, you know. And uh, when I now said, hey, why do you now have this number of fishes? The answer was like, they are too small to stay in a big pond. Now, the, the, the current situation that made him to like contact me and is having all this issue is because of what you just watched, that the uh, fishes are having skull peel you know their skull is like kind of peeling off so it was like hey what kind of um disease attack outbreak is this now in case you are having this kind of issue or you are in this situation see it is not about village people it is not about um unknown infection like somebody once told me that his catfishes had yellow fever Come on, I've never heard some of you know when people say some certain things, I start to wonder, is it the same catfish business that I've been doing for how many years now? So the the truth about it is that um these fishes that you just watch now, as the case may be, they are not actually having any issue. No. The catfishes are not having any issue. The person was asking me, is this like a disease? Is this like an infection? That you know, he doesn't understand what befell the catfishes. But the simple answer to what is happening to the catfish is that he overstocked the pond. And because he overstocked the pond, these fishes are now friction. They're having friction where they are because they don't have easy flow of movement. So there's going to be cannibalism. There's going to be body scratches. There's going to be some of them will not even eat. Some of them will just die off. There's going to be cross infection in the same pond. So you are supposed to you are, the, what him is thinking is just what he's seen on the surface. But I can guarantee you from the experiences I've had in this type of situation is that if he has seen, let's say he has seen one thousand fishes die, I can tell you that if he does a head count of these fishes, he will have less than two thousand. More than the number that he has seen die have actually died. Because some of these fishes are going to be eaten by the ones that you see that are getting bigger. Because look, the ones on that cannot even come up. It is overstocked. I have said it time without number. Stop looking at the fishes that they are small. 
overstocking is applicable to every size of fish, including hashing. The only situation is that people don't understand. Most people that hash fish, you get to where they hash fish. It is a, a, a lab. You see, that's why I, I have a problem with people coming to the internet and say, Hey, come and learn hashing on the internet. I have a very big problem with that. The problem I have is that they wouldn't tell you all the implications of things that they do. They only tell you that you inject this, you do this, this egg, fertilize, a hash. That's the only thing they tell you. But this is the problem. You know, where, where because this is where people are confused. They say, oh, when we went to buy the fish, we saw so many fishes in that pond. That's not the case. What those people do to keep those fishes alive, you can't do it in your pond. Some people that hash fish practically sleeps in that farm with those fishes. Some of them run 24 hours generating sets. That's why you see price of fishes are very expensive in some farms. Now, what they do is that they use a rotor and run a situation of flow through every time, pumping in new oxy oxygen in the water and putting more water steadily to keep it purified. This type of practice cannot last you in the long term. No, it cannot. It's just for the short term purposes because they know that oh people are buying it. So if we expand the pond, it's even gonna be a problem when we want to sell the fish because you know the fishes will have opportunity of getting so big that people will now be suspecting that these fishes are not what they are supposed to be. Then people will now look at it that why should I put in all this effort? Because I want to sell fish at what price? So they prefer to run that once the fishes are alive it's okay sell it to people then you now that are buying what you are doing is grow out these guys that hash they are not doing grow out so their own is to hash keep them alive you that wants to do grow out and sell you are supposed to now take proper care of the fish but these people when you want to buy they still look at the situation of you that is hashing not asking exact questions as in what do you do to keep the fishes alive and i can tell you for free nobody hashing fish will use 1000 liter to keep 3500 juvenile it can't work the space is extremely too tight so in case you have a problem like this please do not start blaming your village people do not start buying drugs, wasting money that is scarce. Do not start climbing the mountain to start prayers. Do not start going to one vet doctor to another. The problem is within your hand. The solution is within your hand. All you need to do is simply change your fishes from where they are currently and put them in where they are supposed to be. Like I have always said, Anything you do at this age of the fish will affect their growth when they are growing. That's the reason why sometimes because you bought the fishes and you believe they were too they are too small, so you put them so tight there. When you now put them in a bigger container, in a bigger pond, they will not grow. You do everything, the growth will be so slow because originally when they came, you see, when you buy the fish from where you bought it from you have changed hand what you're supposed to do is to make sure that you do everything for them to grow fast but because some of us we actually know this thing too much you now suffer them again stress them again by the time you now want them to grow too fast and you now start getting more ponds you know trying to do all those things the growth has already been stunted because of the activities you did when they were small why not simply Put it in your mind. I will do the right thing. I have said it. If you don't know what is your stocking density, simply send me a message telling me what is the length, what is the width or the breadth of your pond, and what is the depth. I will tell you what the stocking tell you what the stocking density is. And if you can keep to what I tell you religiously, the result you will get will even amaze you that own the fish many results are everywhere and remember these services are free so i don't know why because of some certain things i don't even know some people want to use greed or want to do i don't know and you keep entering problem and losing money well 
the choice is yours until i come your way next time if you have any question drop it in the comment section send me your videos and i will help you to solve your problem free of charge i am yours noel oge emily from of Leros farm keep farming it's a way of life